Okay, so today I'm going to make one of my orders, which is a lemon meringue pie. And I've already conditioned and mixed my clay. For the pie crust, I use ecru and white clay and make it a light dough color. Um, I have these little tins that are little, little itty bitty pie pans from Michael's. Um, they're in the jewelry section. Um, so I already have my crust in there. And for the pie filling, I use translucent clay and a little bitty tiny bit of yellow <clears throat> so that it looks like the, the lemon part of the meringue pie. So right now I'll do the details of the crust and I just take my uh, needle tool and I make little indentions as if it's, you know, like real pie, pie crust. So I just go around. So, this little detail work, and in order to make it look baked, I use um, soft pastel chalk that I scrape into little containers, and so this is like the, it's a yellow color, and I add that first, dry with a little paintbrush, and I just dust it on to give it a little bake look. So I put the lighter color on first and then I have it's a yellow and reddish brown mix to give it the extra baked look. So we have the crust. And now I put the filling in. And I've already shaped it. Hopefully it's the right size. And of course it's not. So we'll just take a little chunk off and resize it. shape it into a little pie shape. Let's see if that's the right size. And it is. So I just squish it on in there. And so we have the filling and the crust. And now what I'm gonna do is cut out a slice I really like cutting out slices because I like seeing the detail of the crust on the inside. And so to do the like little detail work to make it look like crust, I just take the, the tip of my X-Acto knife or a, I can take my um, needle tool or a safety pin, anything that's tiny and pointed. And I don't know if I'm holding this out of the camera angle. 
but I just do little tiny circles and scrapes to make the crust look crusty. I'll do the other side. And this is the same technique I use on my Oreos when I take a bite out of them or cake or basically anything that I want to look like crust or, you know, flaky. I go all the way in there. Okay, now we're gonna work on the meringue. So I have, um, and I'm gonna make this one scented. Usually I would use the clay and the liquid Sculpey, mix it together to make the consistency of frosting or um, meringue. But today, since I want to make it um, scented, um, I use an oil-based scents or flavoring oil that you can use for candles. <clears throat> you want to use an oil-based one to mix with clay so it doesn't break it down too much and that it mixes really well. So I add just a few drops to start off with because I don't want it to be too, too oily. And my clay is very hard. So I just use it whatever tool to mix. And this is probably gonna take forever. So let me pause it real quick and I'll show you when I'm and I'll start back when I'm finished. Okay, so I've got it to the right consistency now. It took me probably three minutes. So now that it's the right consistency, we can goob it on the pie. A lot of the times I get really messy with it. Ooh, it's got a nice shine to it. So I just try to spread it around so that it looks like it's meringue. And I've seen some polymer clay artists who can make the meringue have the, like the dark, you know, like baked look on it. And I haven't figured out how to do that yet, but when I do, I'll let you know, because I think it looks amazing. But, so I just try to make little peaks where I can to make it look as realistic as possible without the cool bake look on top. But I can just keep adding to it, you know, to give it a real good oomph to it. This usually takes me the longest because I really try to make it look perfect. I think that's good. So here's the lemon meringue pie. And now I'm gonna bake it at 275 for 20 minutes. And then I will glaze it and add a magnet to it and it'll be done. All right, thanks for watching, bye.